Relatives of Jerome Kaliste refute claims he was involved in gang activity. They dismissed the reports one day after he was killed while sitting in his car at the corner of Drayton and Coffee Streets in San Fernando. Here again is Ian Wason. Jerome Kaliste was a family man, a man who loved his four children and was not involved in any gangs. So say relatives who, when they heard reports that his death on Sunday was related to a recent shooting and could have been gang-related, they were surprised. They explained he grew up on Drayton Street, where he was at the time of his death. He was killed outside of Clyde King Restaurant and Bar, where another incident did take place recently. Last week Thursday, uh, some men come and try to rob the Chinese place, right? And the men from the area, not Kalis, men from the area, mm -hmm. try to, you know, intercept the men and them. Whether Shots was involved or whatever, I really can't say. Right, but they try to intercept the men and them, and the the car, the, the people try to flee the scene in collide with our next vehicle on Cooper Street. Right. right, and they flee the scene, they run down Cooper Street from there, and, and that was it. Jerome leaves to mourn four children between the ages of 19 and 12. He worked with the San Fernando City Corporation. It's the people and them who put on the rubby fine that that should not take place and come back. That kind of thing, but there's people from here too who probably do like him, put things in place for that because they know where to find him, they know where he has been, they know the car he has been. Yeah. Them had to get information from people who know it. Relatives said, like normal schoolboys growing up, there were minor incidents but nothing serious. Ian Wilson for C News.